What's up, LTD addicts? Let's talk about image optimization. In this video, I'm gonna tell you all about what Gumblet is, what it does, and if it's right for your business. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm Dave Swift from that ltd.life where I review software tools with lifetime offers. If you wanna participate in the conversation about LTDs, make sure you head over to our Facebook group. The link for that will be down below in the description. Today, we are talking about goody goody gumlet as the copy over at AppSumo says. This one is 49 bucks and this is a very interesting deal. I'm excited to explain this one to you guys. So what we're looking at here is a CDN essentially. You're gonna get 100 gigabytes of of bandwidth for each code that you stack. You can stack up to, uh, let's see, five codes here, gets you 500 gigabytes, that's $245 now. So I said that Gumlet is essentially a CDN, but what did I mean by that essentially? Well, there are actually three things that Gumlet can do for your website. Let's talk about the CDN aspect first. So acting as a CDN, what does that mean? Well, let's say that your server is located in Chicago, but someone from Australia visits your website to send all of the images from Chicago to Australia is just gonna take a long time, right? There's physics involved. So what Gumlet will do is they actually use Amazon servers and they have all of your images stored all over the world. So whenever someone visits, let's say from Australia, they'll be served from a server in Australia and the images will load faster. So CDNs are great and everyone should be using them to serve up images on their website, but they're actually fairly affordable. This is one that I use called Bunny CDN. And you can see that if your customers are in the US or in Europe, it's only gonna cost you a penny per gigabyte. If they're a little bit farther away, someplace like uh, Asia or Oceania, we're looking at $3 a gigabyte. So so it goes up a little bit from there if you need to reach people in Africa. But let's say that you know we're going at $3 a gigabyte. Well, that means if I did a terabyte worth of data, it's gonna be $3 a month. It's gonna take a long time to pay off my investment in Gumlet if I'm only getting CDN functionality out of it. So what else does Gumlet bring to the table? Well, the first thing I mentioned was CDN. The other two are image optimization. So it takes large images and it shrinks them down without compromising their quality. And finally, the third thing is it delivers responsive images, meaning if someone is visiting your website with what they call a viewport, meaning the size of their screen, the size of their browser uh, is very small, it will serve them a smaller size image than someone visiting on their 6K Mac Pro screen, which will need as large an image as can possibly be delivered. To their credit, Gumlet does a very good job of demonstrating what they can do for your website. So you can head over right now to gumlet.com, click on their website analyzer and just enter in your URL right here. It will analyze the page and optimize all the images and show you a before and after metric. Let's go ahead and do that. So I've got a brand new website that I just imported from Astra Starter Sites. It's at gum.clientamp.com. I am running the analyzer on it right now. All right, so the analyzer is complete. Now these images are not optimized. The original weight of the image here was 1.21 megabytes. And if I were to apply Gumlet, it would be 0.17 megabytes. So that is a significant reduction. They say 86% reduction. Looking at a very similar size reduction on desktop, notice that it doesn't get quite as small on desktop because it would need to serve up a little bit larger images. Overall, it's going to drastically improve the page load time. Without Gumlet here, it is at a little bit over four seconds and with Gumlet, it's saying it will get us down to 0.58 seconds. Wow, that would be a crazy fast load time. Now down here, they give you a calculator so you can see how much money you would save using Gumlet. I have noticed that their CDN costs are a little bit inflated. We just saw Bunny CDN is uh, one or three cents per gigabyte and here they have it at 14 cents. So if I were to, to bring this price down, you can see here that it would actually be cheaper to go without Gumlet uh, if you didn't have a lifetime deal because uh, Gumlet charges 10 cents per gigabyte. Now that is interesting to note because they will charge you that 10 cents or actually what they do is charge you $1 for every 10 gigabytes that you go over your allotment of whatever you purchase in the lifetime deal. So if you buy one code, it's 100 gigabytes, but you end up using 105, they're gonna charge you an extra dollar that month, but they won't cut you off as long as you you know, continue to pay your bill. Down below here, I can see some of the image optimizations that they've done. If I want to get a full report, of course, I can enter my email address here. So nice little lead magnet for them over on Gumlet. Uh, looks like it's a well thought out marketing uh, campaign. So that is important as we're looking at LTDs 
does this company have a path forward into the future? And this little section of their website tells me that they're, they're smart about their marketing and that's really critical. So let's get going here. Here is the website that I've set up. I've actually got two copies of it. This is the Gumlet version. And then I'm also going to optimize the site over here with short pixels. So I've got sp.clientapp.com and I've got gum.clientapp.com. These are gonna be the exact same websites. I've imported them from Astra Starter Sites. Uh, it's just a fashion blog. I figured that fashion photography would have, uh, you know, they'd be fairly large photos, they'd have a lot of different colors, they might be difficult to optimize. So we'll see how good each one of these tools performs. All right, so before we get started with optimizing, let's just do a quick speed test to see where we're at. I'll go ahead and enter in my Gumlet URL right here. Let's choose a nearby server, let's choose San Francisco. I'll go ahead and hit start test. All right, so you can see that this page is loading in 2.63 seconds. It's got a page size of 1.7 megabytes and 51 requests. All right, so the really important numbers to remember are the page size because we should see that come down considerably uh, as we optimize the images. The load time will definitely come down as the uh, page size does as well, but that it'll be a little bit more variable. So I'll say that, you know, that's a pretty decent page load time to begin with. Let's go ahead and test the short pixel site. Again, just these should be fairly identical because neither of them have had any optimization at this point. All right, so they are almost exactly identical. 2.74 seconds for the short pixel site, exact same number of uh, requests as well as just page size. All right, let's start some optimizing and see what we can do. There is a Gumlet plugin. I've actually already gone ahead and installed this, but it's free on the WordPress repository. Now that's not to say that you can only use Gumlet with WordPress. It does work on any website. They have uh, a JavaScript that you can inject into your website and they have some really good step-by-step -step directions on how to do that. But for ease of comparison here, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Gumlet plugin. So I'm on the back end of Gumlet. There's just a few settings that I need to get set up before I'm able to start optimizing my website. So what I wanna do here is choose source type web folder. I'll enter in my URL right here. That's just gonna be your domain name. And then you wanna choose a subdomain down here. Now this is gonna have the Gumlet top level domain uh, attached to it, but don't worry, this uh, is all set up properly so that it will not affect your SEO ratings. I know that was a concern over on AppSumo. Uh, some of the questions they have up updated the headers so everything is, is proper. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. Using Gumlet is not going to ding your SEO score or your ranking with Google. Once you're done with that, just go ahead and hit next over here. You've got a few options on the next page, whether I want to display WebP images to browsers that support it. By default, that is turned on. If you're not familiar with WebP, it is a image format created by Google. Uh, I tend to not like it because whenever I'm doing things where I'm pulling images off the web, I have to end up converting them, but they are fast they are in general uh, better and to the end user you don't really notice anything uh, it's not gonna like change the look of the image it just makes them load faster so leave that on we also want to turn on optimize images all right some other options to add some parameters here like if you wanted to specify the quality of images it does the optimization you could do that right here and if you want to have a default error image you could enter that in here as well I'm gonna leave both of those options blank for now all right great I'm done now what I need to do is set this up over on the website back over on the WordPress website we'll enter in the gumlet source as that subdomain that we set up and then you you don't need to enter anything here where it says current image domain because you're using your website and this is only if you're serving your images from a different location than your actual website. There are some options to lazy load images, auto format images, um, automatically compress images, or even set the image quality. Uh, I'm just going to leave these three checked and kind of leave the image quality blank here. Let's go ahead and save that. Now, if I visit the website at this point, we should be seeing images served up by Gumlet. And here they're starting to render right here. Now, that very first time they get served will probably be the slowest that it loads up, similar to you know, anytime you have a caching plugin. Looks like this one didn't quite load here. All right, so I just reloaded the page here and you can see that the images that were not showing up on a second reload did eventually fill in here. But, all right, so the plugin is activated and the site is now optimized. And I can tell because if I right click on one of the images, and I choose copy image address and I paste it up here. We'll see that it's got that gumlet dash test subdomain and using the gumlet.com uh, top level domain. So we know that gumlet is actually working. The question is how much has it improved our website? Well, let's head over to Pingdom and run another test. So remember that the initial test had us at about 1.7 megabytes in size and that was a 2.74 uh, 
page second load time. Now that was for the short pixel site, but both of them were almost identical. All right, let's go ahead and run the test. We are doing the test from San Francisco. We'll hit start test here and see what type of results we can enjoy. All right, so the page size has been cut down by almost an entire megabyte. We're at 704 kilobytes. Our page load time decreased to 1.75 seconds. Now remember, I'm not using any caching at all. So if I were to turn on some caching here, we could probably reduce that even further. That is some pretty impressive page load time. Now we are gonna shoot out with short pixel in a second, but I wanted to talk about one of the other benefits of using Gumlet. Well, actually short pixel does this as well in that it's going to serve up responsive images. So here is an image, I'm looking at it on a desktop. You can see that the resolution is 468 by 650. Now, if I were to switch this over to, let's say a responsive kind of tablet mode, uh, let's go ahead and look at this now. And it is 372 by 517. If we went down even smaller to say, uh, let's go to a pixel two here. And now it is serving it up as 333 by 464. So the image size is being adapted to however big the device size is. And of course, that's gonna result in a faster loading website, not only on desktop, but also on mobile too. And that is really important because Google is putting a lot of weight on fast loading mobile sites since everyone's on their phone all the time. Of course, what every LTD addict wants to know is, well, how does Gumlet stack up against Short Pixel? Well, we're about to find out. I've got the Short Pixel Adaptive Images plugin already installed on a duplicate website with the exact same Astra Starter site. I just went ahead and activated it right now. Now, setting up Short Pixel's Adaptive Images plugin is super easy. I'm over on the Short Pixel website. All I have to do is enter in my domain name right over here. And that's basically all the setup I have left to do. If I go under settings, I'll be able to see the Short Pixel AI options. By default, it's set to lots images, which means that it's going to compress the images, but not so far that you can really tell. And it's going to also keep that image quality high enough so that uh, unless you are very discerning, it's going to be unnoticeable to the naked eye. When I say discerning, of course, I'm talking about like whether you're maybe doing some highly technical images where everything needs to be pixel perfect, or maybe you're doing extremely high resolution photography uh, as a portrait photographer, and you have to have the highest quality possible, well, then don't use image optimization. Now, there is the option here to lazy load images, and we can also set a maximum width, uh, some similar options to what we saw over on Gumlet. There's another example. Here is WebP support, just like Gumlet had. All right, so I've loaded up the website and Short Pixel has taken over optimizing this one. And I can tell because if I right click on this image, copy the image address, and I paste it into the URL bar, I'll see a Short Pixel URL show up rather than my own. But the proof is in the pudding. Let's see how Short Pixel Adaptive Images stacks up against Gumlet. Remember, Gumlet got a page size of 704 kilobytes on the exact same, same content. We'll go ahead and paste this in here. We'll go ahead and run the test. All right, the results are back and I got to hand it to Gumlet. They definitely win this one with a one megabyte page size for short pixel versus a 0.7 megabyte page size for Gumlet. Gumlet loaded much, much faster. So Gumlet is a pretty impressive app. Now, if you just look at it from the point of view of a CDN, it's actually fairly expensive at any overages costing you 10 cents per gigabyte. But when you add in those other features in terms of image optimization and then displaying responsive images, this thing's kind of a bargain. I might be stacking this one to the max because, you know, it's always good to have options. I still really like Short Pixel, but the user interface and just getting going with Gumlet is actually really, really easy. I'm going to go ahead and give Gumlet a 9.2. It's not very often that we see image optimization that rivals the quality and size of Short Pixel. So very impressive showing here today. If this review has been helpful to you and you're gonna go ahead and pick up anything over at AppSumo, including Gumlet or any of the other great deals they have, the link is below in the description. Really appreciate you clicking on that. Help support the channel so we can make more shootouts like this one. If you wanna talk about some LTDs, we've got a great community growing over on Facebook. The link will also be in the description to join that group. We're just about to hit 1,100 subscribers. We'd love for you to be our 1,100th member. And hey, go check out merch.thatltd life you can grab your very own that ltd life shirt i want to know more about that i might have a video coming up on how we created that merch store as well all right that's going to do it for this video i will see you in the next review